If you want to know what life's like when you're not the apex intelligence, ask a chicken. AI is just going to replace everybody. It's going to be a long time before it's as good at physical manipulation as us. Okay. And so a good bet would be to be a plumber. Newsflash. AI is going to be your next CEO. Battles will be fought in code. And the rise of AI Jesus. Before you say it, no, I have not lost my mind, but this is the world we are heading towards right now. Can you imagine waking up to a dawn where drones drone overhead instead of chirping birds? Your phone buzzes with urgent news, yet you wonder, is it real or just another piece of AI-driven propaganda? We stand at a crossroads where tomorrow's battles might be fought not only on land and sea, but in code and pixels. This is a critical moment in history. In this video, we'll explore looming threats and choices, from autonomous weapons to viral lies that can sway nations, to a world where the web itself fractured into rival realms, and how AI is already out of our hands. By the end, you'll be informed enough to make a choice and decide your role in this AI-dominated world. Stay till the end and will give you intel, strategy, and tools to cope with the change. AI Warfare Keep in mind that the same AI that powers your smartphone can now power killer machines. Leading military analysts warn that the United States, China, Russia, and their allies are locked in an AI arms race. Today's Project Maven and similar programs use neural nets to scan drone and satellite imagery in seconds, tasks that once took human analysts hours. Nation after nation is testing loitering munitions and drone swarms, flying together like a robotic swarm swarm of locusts. China unveiled swarms of autonomous quadcopters. The US Navy trialed AI-controlled boats. These swarms share data and make split-second decisions, a hive mind of machines. This isn't fantasy, it's already happening. In the recent 2025 Israel and Iran conflict, Israel used precise targeting and operated drones from within Iran, all using AI. In 2020, during the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, we got a glimpse of this future. Azerbaijan deployed Turkish-made drones that didn't just spy, they hunted. These machines systematically destroyed Armenian tanks, artillery, and air defense systems. Putin said bluntly, whoever becomes the ruler of AI will rule the world. The right question is, who pulls the trigger when the trigger is pulled by code? Future wars might be decided by algorithms in data centers over within milliseconds and miles beyond sight. Deep fakes and digital lies. And while armies build robot soldiers, the battlefield of our minds is heating up too. How much of what you saw on social media today was created by a human being? The deadliest weapons today may be stories, not bombs. Germany's foreign minister warned that AI makes disinformation cheaper, easier, and more effective. Imagine millions watching a deepfake video of a leader suddenly surrender. That nightmare came true in Ukraine. In March 2022, a chilling video of President Zelensky appeared on TV, begging his troops to lay down their arms. It was completely fake. Still, it got over 100,000 views on social media and sent shockwaves through Ukraine's ranks. This isn't an isolated drama. Even at home, elections are swarmed by AI. In the run-up to recent votes, Americans saw fake clips of politicians confessing crimes or dropping out of races. Thanks to tools like ChatGPT, anyone can now conjure convincing lies with a few keystrokes. Russia's Meliorator tool churns out thousands of fake social media profiles, flooding feeds with tailored propaganda. In this era of hybrid warfare, you can't trust everything you see or hear online. Our brains become the battlefield. A rumor runs at light speed, far ahead of the truth. But hey, remember, we promise a great news in the beginning? Well, we are offering our subscribers a golden opportunity. We have created a detailed PDF that will will educate you on different LLMs and their use cases. Drop your email using the form at the top of the description to get the PDF for free. You will also get free bonuses, tools, and tricks that will educate and train you about AI and its future. So people of our community are not the AI victims. The Splinternet 
And when every message can be a trick, even the internet itself starts to fracture. The internet was born to unite the world. Now it's fracturing into separate realms. Experts call this the splinter net. Instead of one global network, imagine dozens of mini internets, each controlled or censored by different powers. Cybersecurity researchers note that today, cyberspace has become a battleground for ideological blocks, leading to a fractured global network. In practice, that's already happening. China's Great Firewall blocks Google and Facebook, replaced by state-monitored alternatives. Former Google CEO Eric Schmidt warned this creates two distinct internets, one led by the US, another by China. Russia also plans to unplug from the global net entirely. The result is digital balkanization. Friends on opposite sides of the world may live in entirely different internet realities, fed different news and norms. Echo chambers grow, trust erodes. Instead of a global village, we get walls, firewalls, national intranets, corporate silos. If we're not careful, the promise to connect and empower will give way to a splintered net that traps us in smaller controlled bubbles. New Judge of Truth with reality filtered and divided, who will be the judge of what's true? With truth under siege, where do we turn for answers? Increasingly, we turn to algorithms. Every Google search and social media feed is curated by AI, deciding what to show or hide. But can we trust these machine gatekeepers? In 2019, Mark Zuckerberg declared he didn't want Facebook to be the arbiter of truth. Yet Facebook, Google, Twitter, and others already use complex AI filters and fact checkers to label or hide content. Microsoft's and Meta's content moderation algorithms sift billions of posts for hate, violence, or fake news, often with hit or miss results. In other words, invisible machines are silently shaping our perception of reality. Reality. If an AI flags a news story as misleading, millions may never see it without knowing who decided it was false. Meanwhile, AI chatbots like ChatGPT present answers confidently, whether those answers are accurate or not. We're trusting opaque code to tell us what's okay to see and what's a lie. So, we end up in this strange place where social media and search claim to show us reality, but on their terms, managed by AI the human cost. As our sense of truth shimmers and warps, the fabric of society starts to tear too. A World Economic Forum report suggests AI could impact nearly 50 million US jobs. Entry-level work, the training ground for graduates, is vanishing. Gen Z fears that their expensive college degrees won't pay off. Meanwhile, WEF projects 170 million new jobs created even as others disappear. But godfather of AI gave us a warning. They call you the godfather of AI. So what would you be saying to people about their career prospects in a world of superintelligence? Trained to be a plumber. Really? Yeah. To top it all, it is affecting human relationships as well. A 75-year-old man in China became so attached to an AI chat-based girlfriend that he asked for a divorce. This isn't an isolated case. Over 100 million people globally use personified AI, apps like Replica and Nomi. Many users call these AI their AI wife or key emotional confidant in their daily life. Overall, our lives will shift dramatically. The key uncertainty is speed. Will society handle the retraining fast enough? We must ask, how do we share the gains of AI widely and protect workers and students through the transition? AI meets faith and power. Beyond relationships, jobs, and money, AI and tech are even influencing who we are and how we govern ourselves. The strange mix of AI and everyday life even reaches the deepest parts of our identities and beliefs. Some faith communities experiment with it. In Switzerland, a chapel installed an AI Jesus in the confessional and two-thirds of users found it spiritual. Meanwhile, governments use AI for surveillance and control. China's much-discussed social credit system System aims to rate trustworthiness, affecting travel and loans. Other nations deploy facial recognition and mass data collection. The EU, for instance, adopted a groundbreaking AI regulation in 2024, aiming to protect citizens from biased algorithms. Others fall behind, leaving gaps where any actor can abuse AI freely. Your faith, face, and freedom are all at stake. So, where do we go from here? 
With the stakes so high, we need perspective and action. How to Navigate the AI Revolution First of all, don't panic and adapt. Throughout history, humanity has faced epical changes and survived. So, here's your action plan. 1. Take breaks. Unplug from screens. Go for walks. Call friends. Read books. And remember life outside the digital bubble. 2. Stay sharp. Learn how AI works. Fact check before sharing. Teach others to spot deep fakes. Your eyes remain your best filters. 3. Demand accountability. Vote for ethical tech policies. Support organizations fighting for AI safety. Regulators are starting to act as civic pressure makes it happen faster. 4. Reconnect. Build trust in real life. Talk kindly with neighbors who see different news. Behind every avatar is a human. Be vigilant. Be critical. Be hopeful. We can't freeze time. The AI revolution is moving, but we can steer it. 